And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today, just before we take on this mortar, we have 26 seconds before it fires, I'd have to have a quick look at the upcoming patch 1.4. They've got the notes out, and there's just a few things that are definitely going to apply to our playthrough. This patch is already out on the experimental branch. No ETA as to when it will be applied globally. But anyway, the biggest and most important fix for us is going to be tribal children who grow up in a colony don't get the natural meditation focus type has been fixed. Our children will all be able to uh, meditate at the anima tree. That is very useful. Increase the availability of gene packs from various traders. That's huge. One of the big complaints I've seen from people is, well, it's impossible to get all the genes in a reasonable time frame. And yes, I can, I can test it. I've been trading with so many. I'm really looking forward to that. Reduce the impact duration of gene loss shock from gene extraction. This is just on top of that. You can extract the genes more frequently and increased frequency of gene, pack, uh, of gene packs in quest rewards. So all of this, yes, just make getting those genes just easier, so much better. As people grow up, their aging rates now smooth scales from child age rate to adult rate over several years. This prevents the problem of having a lot of 13-year-olds in the colony after raising kids. Yeah, it used to be they hit 13, their aging just slows down to the same as adults, and at that point you just end up with 13, 14, 15-year-olds. Like, it's going to take you, what, five years to age them up to 18 when they actually grow? So no, 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 this is a, an excellent improvement. Uh, otherwise, I'm just throwing them in the vats from 13 to 18 just to skip all that. Psychic lances can't be used on mech bosses because they trivialize the fight. Well, yeah, this is kind of like, yeah, we were expecting this. this. This should have happened. Which reminds me, I should really kill a few more of those bosses while it's still easy. Anyway, uh, a few that aren't as... Uh, apply as much, but I think are really great additions. Added child tribal wear. Hell yes. Now you can actually keep the children alive in hot and cold environments. Gases can travel through vents. Just when, you know, I mean, they've already added children war crimes. Gas war crimes just seems like a, an obvious step. Uh, reduce the power needs of the waste pack atomizer to 400. It used to be 800 watts to run the waste pack atomizer, now it's 400. For perspective, that thing only deletes two waste packs per day, so you're still going to need to be building a few of those. We now allow the kind trait to apply in addition to other violence-related genes. Some of the genes were counteracting each other. They seem to have fixed that, which is kind of nice. Uh... Tribes can now build cribs, because you don't need research for cribs anymore, which is good. They were storing their babies on the ground, or, or fridges probably, who knows. Um, they've now made it so that if a deathless pawn gets knocked down and goes into death rest, forced death rest because, you know, they got their chest shot out from under them, they actually take an ex experience loss to their skills. I, I don't really care too much about this, to be honest, but I suppose if someone was running a deathless pawn as just like an expendable pawn, they could just throw wave after wave of them at the enemy, you know, uh, that might hurt them. Uh, the psychic bond thing, I really want to start playing around with these. It's the, the one where the high mates can bond with someone and give them a 15% consciousness bonus. Pretty powerful, but there was a few tweaks made to this one, as in giving a little bit of size sensitivity, which might make it even more attractive. Also, if you apply psychic bonds to someone after they're already in a relationship, this now means that they can actually give it to their partner. Otherwise, applying psychic bonds to someone who was in a relationship means you were just guaranteeing they were going to romance someone outside of the relationship and break everything up. Uh, Mood-related genes no longer force traits. They apply a separate mood offset. Um, I'm looking at these ones here. These are all related to that. So I think what this means is it used to be you would apply, say, the sanguine gene, and that would give you the sanguine trait. Now I think you can have, like, the sanguine trait, and you could apply the sanguine gene on top of that to get plus 24 mood. Uh, that would be huge. Like, there's a learning gene offset, which means you could get fast learning, and then you could get the fast learning gene on top of that for a 150% experience bonus. That sounds incredibly brokenly powerful, and I love it. Uh, speed-related gene offsets pawn speed directly instead of forcing speed traits. This sounds insane. You could get a fast runner pawn, give it a fast runner gene, and they'd get like a massive 0.8 speed bonus. Uh, it, and give that to a vampire, and oh, like there's there's a whole bunch of speed stuff here. I'm liking that. If a player sends a pregnant colonist on a pawn lending quest in a shuttle, and she gives birth during the quest, the baby will return with her instead of keeping ke being kept by the quest giver. Yeah, I just put that one in because that just, I found that hilarious. I can't believe that was a problem. I mean, no, I can't believe that was a problem. I, I just like that they had to put in that patch note to fix it. Again, I am not sure when that patch is coming out, but when it does, I am very much looking forward to it. Anyway, uh, invisibility on Smokey here. Uh, sure that's in slow. Perfect. Then we want to do a long jump right to about here. We want to get as close to that mortar as possible. Now, keep that open. And then we want to destroy this. We should be able to do 200 damage per hit, which means two grenades should kill this. Okay. Seven seconds left. How much damage? Wait, no. We, yeah, we did 100. Oh, it's got 260. Okay, we're going to need three grenades to kill it. Uh, we might need to hit it up with another invisibility. Um, hmm. Do we have enough time to get off a third hit? I think we do. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to want to immediately invisibilize ourselves again. Yep. Yeah. And... Oh god. Right. 
Uh, long jump? There we go. Ow, how much did that hurt? Okay, we still got 3.75 movement. That was incredibly sloppy. Uh, note to self, don't let them do that again in future. Um, damn it, I want to at least slow them down. What's this? That is, oh, centipede blaster. Can we nab that one? No, we cannot. It is out of range. In fact, now it is in range. Perfect. So while they're busy murdering each other over that, we can send Smokey home. Oh, wow. I've just realized there is a lot of them. There is six Lancers, three Scythers, uh, two Scorchers, nine Pikemen, and... Okay, there's a whole bunch of different... Say about 11 Centipedes, though. Actually, no, make that nine, because two of them are going to die. Okay, uh, I need to start getting people together, and Smokey's going to have to do a lot of jumping. Like, they're not going to be able to get back safely unless they just jump the whole way. There's too much stuff close by. Eh, give me, I'll be back in a minute. I just got to do a whole bunch of micromanagement. Well, they're spread out pretty far, but they're also pretty annoyingly tough. Uh, the centipedes are going to be the big problem, of course, and... Oh, they left behind the five unstable power cells. I was kind of thinking that might cause a chain reaction. Wasn't hoping for it, but I figured at some point a stray bullet might kill some of those. No, eh, never mind. Well, in that case, we're just going to have to deal with everything the old-fashioned way. Now, what I've done is I've spread out the Scythers in a line up front. Their job is to basically tank shot and stop melee units from closing in. Um, we don't really care too much about the Scythers and the Tunneler. They can, they're effectively expendable. So, use them as fodder to draw shots. Uh, okay, and Smokey, we've actually healed up there, and we're going to get them to pick up a gun and join back on the line. I want to equip that assault rifle, grab a shock glance, and then head back up here. And we are going to make sure we kill everything that comes at us. And we are going to be pretty... Yep, those Tesselron things or whatever they are. I don't like those. Now, their range is... Yeah, not as good as ours. So as long as they're shooting at our mechs, I don't really care. Oh. Guys, uh, could a bunch of you do me a favor and target... Nope. Target that guy. That guy, right there. He needs to get got. Perfect. Alright. And perfect. Another one bites the dust. I think a few of them can hit that one. You need to pull back. You need to pull back. It's just there's, some, there's a Lancer over there causing issues. That is beautiful. They stop outside of range, shoot at our bots... Oh, not that one. Hmm, no, we'll spit fire. This is pretty handy so far. Most of our people are remaining well shielded. Our, our bots are soaking damage. Oh, here comes Pikeman as well. And a couple more Tesserons. Like, we just got to deal with this mess. And then that leaves... Oh, God, there's more. They're going to be dribbling into us. I think we're going to have to send it to Scythers and maybe leave cover. But I prefer to take care of all the fire starters first. I think for now, we hold our positions. Everything seems to be going the way we want it to. They're targeting our scythers, which sucks, but is also good. Once those are down, that's down. Just give me that last Tesla run. Okay, perfect. His arms are gone. Okay, now we can start charging forward. Yeah, I'm less worried about them. Perfect. You go after that one. Out of command range. Well, yeah, that sucks. Okay, you go to there. You go to there. You go to there. That is one of the inconveniences. And uh, that Scyther is kind of useless. Great. Um, okay, so you four can all charge forward. And as you charge forward, we'll let our shooters do the talking to kill anything. Animal disease flu. Boomalope 3. Oh, I better really take care of that. And I think that's all the fire starters gone. Yeah, except for the uh, the ones built into the centipedes. So that's most of the light stuff. That is perfect. All right. Uh, time to charge everyone forward and get behind that hill. Uh, Scyther 2. You know what? You can join us. And Scyther 3. Why not? If you die, you die. Go, 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 go. Come on, just a little bit closer. Uh, Lunk, maybe you can get in on this. I suppose there is some pikemen over there, but uh, 
no, no. Lunk, uh, you should probably do a bit of a long jump. And right about there is good. And you, go to right there. You can go to right there. Perfect. Okay. Smokey, how did you get hit? Charge blaster light? Oh my god. Okay, we got riddled going across there. You go there. You go there. Okay, those scythers can go up that section. Lunk, you can get back in here. I think we're going to go back around the corner. And then we're going to pick them off as they come around the corner for us. That uh, should be up. Oh, and what? I need to improve this a bit. I'm thinking we should get walls maybe like this and like this. So that we can hide in here and when they poke their heads around we kill them. We're not playing with the kill box this round, but it would be nice to have some sort of kill area, and I think this place is sort of perfect. Combining this area with a little sort of choke point here, a little pocket we can hide in, might be perfect. Oh, wait, I know where Smokey got those. That's Smokey's injuries he got earlier. Like, none of our people have gotten injured so far. It's all been bots. Uh, that tunneler still has their shield pack absorbing everything like a boss. Nope, you do need to get hit back into cover. Okay, then. Hmm. Thing is, I kind of want to get them closer, but I also want to insanity a couple of these. They're spread out enough now that we could do some serious... Wow. Do we want them punched up more or spread out more? If there is quite a lot of things we'd have to melee down. We start sticking our snout out there. This still feels far too vulnerable. Hmm. Okay, that guy. That guy's got to be turned. All right, who's got an insanity lance? I want to make sure that guy can't cause us any more problems. Stalker, you've got a bandwidth pack. Of course you do, uh, because that's your job. Okay, Katie's. Right, sanity. Perfect. Uh... Okay, one pikeman down. Second pikeman down. No, wait a minute, Katie Zuni had one charge in that insanity lance, and I'm treating you like you had two. Okay, so, we've killed a couple of pikemen. Now, I think while they're busy killing that, we start shooting them in the rear over here. Eh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, first we kill that pikeman, of course. Nice. That was rather quick. Okay, everyone over here. Uh, you all up front. Okay, excellent. Now, we'll just grab someone else who's got an Insanity Lance, and we'll Insanity, say, that one over there, because it's a decent distance away from us. Now, the rest of you can line up close here. What we want to do, actually, is... Yeah, right about... Actually, what am I doing? There's one right there. Go grab that guy. What am I doing wasting time? Uh, you guys get up there, and we'll move you all just a little tad scooch closer. Perfection. Now, we've got low shield pops we can pack. Ooh, uh, low shield pops we can pop. Uh, that guy there is about to start opening fire. I would not like that. Let's do that instead. Nice, nice, and very nice. Keep them there. Everyone else is doing their jobs. Ah. Okay, low shield is working. I thought I insanitied one of those. Oh, I must have actually moved them before the insanity lance took hold. Uh, I'll tell you what. You hit that guy. Perfect. How is that guy not down yet? Okay, you all back inside here quickly. Oh my god, I love the way the scyther is going to walk the long way around. It can't just walk to the fire. And our low shield pop has went down. Okay, mild problem. That's okay. I know I have a second one. I know I brought a second one. I know I brought a sec- there we go. Oh, so, simple enough plan, we pop the low shield. Excellent. Then we get Smokey, who's over here, and we're going to get them to use their skip ability. I want you to skip that flame guy. Right, oh, there sounds good. Yeah, there sounds real good. And now they're surrounded. Perfect. And we'll have everyone else 
use their weapons on, say, this guy. And that guy's down to 15% health, which means he should be dead shortly. Perfect. Smokey, you got another skip in you. Excellent. There is unfortunately no one in range to be skipped. Oh my god, did I just waste a shield? Kinda did. There's 26 seconds left on that one. Hey, it's fine. People have got range, right? Yep, we can we can shoot a few more. Hmm. That only leaves if we can kill all the ones on this side, except for oh that guy's a bit far away. But if we can kill these two, that leaves three centipedes and a pikeman. We can take those down pretty handily. We got the power for that. And dead, dead, and pretty much done. Yeah, once that shield looks like it's running out, though, I think we're going to dip around the corner. Yeah, Lunk is fleeing the fire. That's to be expected. Don't worry, Lunk. Don't hold it against you, buddy. And he pulls it back together. Nice. Okay, then. With that finished, we got about eight seconds left on the shield. And we've got... That guy over there is still going. How? Okay, down. Perfect. Everyone back around the corner. Like the whole lot of you, I want you out of there. No point hanging out in that section. Shield will disintegrate. And we're sorted. Perfect. That just leaves us with three centipedes. I'm thinking a little bit of skipping and a little bit of shooting should sort out the last of them. The plan is actually fairly simple. It's one I've used before. It's just I sort of stopped using it when I started when I went back to kill boxes. Uh, Lunk, don't, don't, please don't run out there, buddy. I know you're afraid of fire and stuff, but... Yeah, we're going to grab this guy here, the centipede, and we're going to skip him with Smokey to right there. And then we're going to introduce him to the centipede mosh pit. And by skipping him in there, he ends up surrounded by a whole bunch of people and then gets shot to bits. Lunk. 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 Oh, Christ. There's, there's a centipede out there, Lunk, and... In fact, I was pretty sure there was three centipedes. Where's the other one? No, over there. Never mind. Ah, Lunk's back on their... No, they've actually raised their shield, though. At least they've raised their shield. That makes me feel much better. Whew. Okay, next skip. Action. Nope, nope. Can't reach you. Lunk, go hide. And then, Smokey, have you got... Why don't you have line of sight on these? Fine. We'll actually move you a little bit. Perfection. And that's another one into the centipede mosh pit. Fleeing fire smoky. Well, that's my lean convenient. Lunk. Do us a favor, take out that pikeman. That'll get you far enough away from the fire that you won't have to care too much. And it also lets you smash things in the face, which is another thing you love doing. Okay, done. And that was beautifully done. Right. Let's get everyone over there. Let's just rush him down. In fact, let's take... Oh, God. Everyone's a little bit injured right now. Lunk, though, is super fast, and he's just going to run across the entire area, eat all those bullets, go point-blank range, and just start smacking it in the face, because that's what Lunk does. Nice. And that should fall in short order. Well, Lunk didn't even get a scratch that round. Yeah, all that melee training is paying off. Okay, well, that was a horrible mess. It probably could have went smoother, but by and large, the only person who got injured was Smokey and a bunch of robots. So I'm going to call that a win. Uh, right now, we're actually in the middle of enslaving a few people. We've got one in the tank here. We're aging them both up to 16. And we've got Giggles over here who we're trying to turn into a mood boost. We just got to... Perfect. Are they enslaved? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Then all we'll do with them is grab them, give them an EMP cannon, get them to shoot one of our people, and then we can execute them for a mood boost. And at the same time, we've got Damon over here, and I believe Muppet is on the way with some grenades. So Damon and Muppet are going to head over here and destroy all of these buildings before they start pooping out mechanoids. This one's going to give us uh, scythers, this one's going to give us more scythers, and this one's going to give us pikemen. If I have my way, they're going to give nothing but, you know, explode. Uh, we'll probably come in from this direction, but yeah, the basic same grind. You smoke up to stop the turret shooting you, and then you basically riddle everything with grenades. And done there, there, and there. Now, the reason we want to get rid of Giggles is they're actually the mother of one of these, or they're, they're, we're going to turn them into a mother at some point of one of our kids, and we would prefer if they were not around afterwards. Otherwise, they might accidentally get themselves killed at a later date and cause us mood penalties. So that gives them guilty. Excellent. You're a guilty colonist. In that case, we're going to arrest you. And then after that, we are going to execute you. Perfect. That gets rid of them. 
Hey, now, where was my two pawns? Exit, you two. I want you to head this direction. We'll come in from that side. Let me check with the turret. Oh, no. We're going to have to go around the very long way, aren't we? Damn, what's the easiest way to get in here? I have to say, I do like the new gas mechanics. Like, you can see the smoke trail I left by. Normally, the smoke dissipates much faster, but they've made smoke last an awful lot longer. In fact, let's see here. We hover over it. It gives us blind smoke 75, 61, 40, 26. Oh, you can actually see the, the density of the smoke going up and down as you go along. Eh, eh, well, that's good enough for me. We'll get forward to there, closer and closer to the spawners. We just got to make sure we take out the three spawners and then we can take care of the turrets at our leisure. Now comes the rather slow grind of blowing up all the turrets and then claiming these precious, precious unstable power cells for ourselves. And I think, yep, that's the last one. Mech building clusters have been defeated. Excellent. Let's uninstall all of those and take them home. With the strip mining complete, we are now installing all of these unstable power cells down here. 4, 8, 12, 16, 2,000 watts of power. Ah, then we'll just wall them in to make sure no one can get at them. Uh, which is the smart plan, because otherwise someone might decide to punch them. Yep, let's just do that there. Perfect. And once they're walled in, we're pretty safe. We can now stop and have a quick linking ceremony for Lunk, though we're going to be a little bit shy. Chewbacca's still, well, taking the knee after they took a bullet to the brain. They'll be back with us in 22 days. Oh, God. Uh, that means all of the cooking falls on Katie's, which we're kind of lucky we specialized in another cook. Otherwise, we'd be on the nutrient paste. But their cooking skill's 12. They might fall a tad behind at first, but I figured the pressure should uh, bring out the best in them. Anyway, let's see what kind of abilities Lunk gets out of this. This will bring him up to level 4, so we can start putting some of the better powers on him, like skip, wall raise, that type of thing. And... wall raise. Ah, oh, damn it. Actually, we already have a wall raise. <laughs> We've got a wall raise in here. We don't have the skip, though. Eh, never mind. We'll just have to save the wall raise for the next person. Anyway, with that done, it's time to send Smokey out on another caravan. I figure since this was the most recent raid... Calgary, what are you doing? Yo. Oh exercising those muscles. This was our most recent raid, and I figure we might have bought ourselves just a little bit of time before the next one comes in, so let's send Smokey out on a big caravan trip. All of this area down here is refreshed, or just about. So I think we can hit up these four places and hopefully score ourselves some new genetics. Ah, uh, now is the, about the time we start printing money. All of our, uh, our psychoid plants are starting to come in. Just please don't give us a cold snap, Randy, or, you know, something nasty like a toxic fallout. So long as we can harvest all of these, we're going to be swimming in cash. Because I want to buy a few bionics and a couple other things. Also, kids will be born in 2.8 days. Nice. We'll have the next five kids up and running. Uh, I think we've got enough for them. Oh, beds. I should probably make a few more. We're going to put Lunk down for a nap for 2.5 days in their death rest. And we're going to hope no one shows up in that time frame. They still had... Where is it? Oh, no. The moment they go into death resting, their previous bonus, the... The movement speed bonus they get immediately disappears, and they won't get it back, I think, until they wake up. So I think if we wake them up mid-death rest, they lose all those bonuses. Kind of makes you want to plan that very tightly. Oh, and i got to make sure to recharge up some of these bots. They took a lot of damage, and it costs energy to repair them, which is why some of these are so low. And our trade caravan has arrived. And pig noses. Yay! Nothing we were... were... Nothing we were really looking for, but we picked up the tech print for jump packs. I've been meaning to get that for a while. It's normally very useful. It's just the new uh, vamps have made this so much handier. Their ability to jump in and smash things has meant we've sort of avoided, well, haven't bothered getting the jump jet packs. Oh, great. Heavy brow. Wow, the jeans are pretty weak sauce today. Gotta say. For some reason, a few Ibexes have decided to go crazy, but uh, not really going to worry about it. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. We'll just sit here, let the Scythers do the talking, and have Stalker at the back. Oh, what are you doing? Repairing the doors. Well, considering he Wow. That's kind of a quick way to kill everything. This just seems like a free meat donation where I don't even have to go out and get them. I just decided to give Lindsay a bionic guy. I mean, their, their eye needed a little bit of a touch-up. They'd lost a bunch of sight from it. Fortunately, yeah, it turns out... Randy wants to mech hive us again. Like, why? Why does he want to mech hive me all the goddamn time? <laughs> okay. Several separate groups of mechanoids. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Okay. Okay, that's not a lot of pods. There's 11 drop pods there. 16 drop pods there. Just don't don't be all centipedes. Don't be all centipedes. Okay, you're not all Oh. That's a Diablos. That's two Diablos. 
That seems like a lot of di Diablesses. Diablesos? Or is Diablos... Like, what's the plural of Diablos? You know what? Doesn't matter. Insanity Lances, yes. I am glad Insanity Lances still work, or they haven't patched it yet. Please tell me they haven't patched it yet. So I'm going to Insanity Lance that one, let them murder each other. Then I'm going to Insanity Lance those two, and let them murder each other. And I'm going to make sure that Smokey picks up a couple of Insanity Lances on their trip to make sure that we don't run out of them. All right, let's get some insanity going, shall we? Now, Kagar's in position to start on squad one. I'd prefer if Diablos came forward a little bit more. Oh, yep, they're heading this direction. Oh, God. Damn it. Run, 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 run! Okay, Diablos is turning the entire place into an inferno. Excellent! Hmm. Now the question is, actually we only have one chart left on that. I say we grab a Muppet's got one on them as well. Uh, how many charges you got on that? Okay, so Muppet, you're, we're going to need you. So Muppet and Cowgirl, we're going to get you to run over here and do the same with the other side. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think that, that, that does point that... Uh, oh, oh, wow. Sometimes it just deletes things and other times it's completely whiffed shots. I've seen this fire things and just completely miss. And okay, so we have trading going on. Oh, this is a horrible one. Okay, so this gene pack is agelessness. Uh, that means once the pawns go beyond 18, the process stops completely. They never stop. They never age after that. I mean, they'll always be young. They'll never get old age diseases. It's just, it's really good. And all it costs us is archive capsules, which you just pay money for. So there's no complexity involved. But they also will have to have cat ears. So all our people would have cat ears on top of that. Oh, that's just... Mm. We'll take it. We'll take it. Fine, fine. We'll, we'll take it. But I'm not committing to using it. Because I know if I use that and I'm running around with a bunch of pig-faced, cat-eared people, that's just too much of a cliché. Okay, the cat ears at least. The pig-faced ones I was fine with. That's just an efficiency sick. Oh, yeah, I should probably explain what I mean by that. Uh, it just, we do have... Where is it? If you head back home here. We do already have a bunch of... Awesome genetics, but one of them here is the metabolism one, the archite metabolism. This is really good. We have to use that. But it comes with two attached genes, fire resistant and pig noses. So all of our pawns are going to end up with pig noses by default. I'm fine with that. It's the cat ears one is just such a cliche. I just don't want it. It's ugh. All right, we'll have to we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes, Cowger and uh, Muppet here. We're going to head over to this section and see if they can't cause chaos among these two. And the question is, do you want to like... Turn one insane and then the other, or turn them both insane at the same time? I kind of figure you want to turn one insane and then the other, and preferably when they're apart from each other. I don't want the two of them targeting each other. I want them to target the little pawns. Hmm. And yeah, let's see what we can manage. Well, this did not go perfectly. Uh, Muppet. Stopping on fire, Muppet. That's not good. Muppet. God damn it, Muppet. God damn it, Muppet. Did I mention how much I hate the Tesla-ron Tesla things? Gearwise, Devil Strand Duster. Devil Strand shirt, Devil Strand pants. They should have been very resistant to getting set on fire. Oh, man. Well, there goes one of the kids, and they didn't even get a chance to do anything. Quick sleeper, iron-willed, hard worker. Oh, man. Damn it. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Just, there was nothing you could do. Once you get set on fire... Mm. Cowgirl, run. Run now. Don't get set on fire or you're probably dead. Oh. Should I try and dip back in and maybe bring them to the fridge? I mean, it might be possible. We do have room in the fridge for them. Uh, somewhere we have room in the fridge. Seriously? This is... Well, I suppose we have been keeping a well-stocked fridge. You know what? Shrink that zone out. We're gonna make a space for them. Uh, can we really get in that close? I think... No, we don't have enough time. I would love to keep their corpse just in case we can get our hand on a res serum, but... I don't think it's possible. Oh, man! Oh. Oh, God. While I was doing that, all of these guys have decided to... All right, you, up front. Um, 
yeah, I've learned my lesson. We are going, we're sending all the mechs in first. The mechs are going to deal with the Tesla something or others. We are going to stay far the hell away. The moment you get set on fire, they're a huge problem. Um, actually, we can get someone to go in and grab some fire foam. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's reinstall that there, shall we, Ryan? And already working on fire foam popper. Perfect. So, I don't want you to ignore anything else that might stop you from doing that. And we're going to bring cow... Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Can't believe we lost one already. Sorry, Muppet. Uh, where are they going? You know what? If that's the way they want to play it, I'm more than happy to help them out. Let's cut down on their range advantage. Uh, Ryan. Nope, nope. Damn it. I said Ryan. Draft up and get in here, buddy. What was that? Okay, okay. So, we'll put our people lined up here to shoot them, and we'll send our mechs around the corner to kill these. Uh, that should stop the Tesla whatevers from causing us problems. And over here, we're go Wow, that's a mess. We still gotta kill all of these. And Muppet is still gonna burn up and be destroyed. God damn it. Yeah, everyone is spreading out. Stoker is... Yeah, close enough. Guys. Okay, you attack that one. It's basically those fire starting bots that are the worst. Now, you should probably get up there and help out. Nope, nope. What do you... You know what, it's fine. Uh, Stalker, get in closer. You are good where you are. Papper still get up there and melee that bot down. Cowgirl's on their way home. We might want to hide behind that section there. How are they doing over here? Uh, they are slowly making their way down here. Oh my god, I thought I sent that guy insane as well. Mm. That's going to be an expensive fight. Damn it, we're just we're really short-staffed right now. Um... I think the plan remains the same. We focus on this side, we kill those there. Uh, Kegger, how are you doing? You have nothing left. Damn it. Insanity Lance. Was on this one, I believe. Uh, gear wise. Nope. Honestly, Insanity Lance has already burned up. Could have sworn we made two of them insane. Oh well. Nothing we can do from here. Uh, we're just going to have to kill what we can down this section. Okay, that's. Excellent. You two, attack that. You two, attack that. You two... Oh, okay, get close enough to that one to do damage. And soon Stalker will be closer in range so you can actually get closer to the problems and start shooting them more in the face. Uh, Pepper Sill is closing on that Legionnaire. Excellent. Uh, Gregor, you can bring, pull back to there. I really wish we'd invested in a kill box, but no, that's against the rules. Uh, you two get over there. But, like, the tunneler is a great unit, but it's just, it's too slow. It can't help out fast enough. You get there, you get there. All right. Well, that just leaves us with six Lancers. Uh, one Legionnaire, three Tessalons, Tesserons, uh, and one Scorcher. Oh, and a Diablos. Of course there is. Uh, Pepper Seal has, is taking on that Legionnaire. Of course... They're pretty much blind, so, you know, they're punching in the dark. Mildly unfortunate. And uh, we'll get you up to there, buddy. And we're going to get the rest of this mess cleaned up. Seriously. Okay, all of you start, need to start moving that direction. Mm. Actually, yeah, we're going to move you in there, and we're going to move Stalker in there as well. I want to finish that off. Seriously, guys, just... Your two Scythers versus... There we go. Right. All of you, start heading up that direction. Except for the people. I think we're going to bring the people back. Oh, yeah, it's got that annoying shield. Well, in that case, let's get a little bit closer. <sighs> They're already here. Okay, that was far faster than I was expecting. Cowgirl, pull back. In fact, yeah, every... Like, we're going to get the bots up here because we want them to soak. And preferably get in close to those Tesla runs before they start shooting at our people. 
Uh, Ryan, we're going to want you there. Uh, Damon, want you there. Stucker, we're going to want you over there. But everyone else is going to want to start moving. But you know, Stalker, you got to move over here. We need you up to, up there because that's the only way the bots can get that far. Uh, several of whom are running quite slowly right now due to their injuries. Uh, Pepper Sill is now on fire. Of course he is. Uh, oh, God. You. Attack that. Uh, we need a distraction. We need a distraction right now. Uh, shock Lance. Yeah, this is too expensive not to risk it. No, no, not that one, actually. Get that one instead. Perfect. We just need to make sure those Tesla rounds don't fire. You, attack that one. Okay, that's at least caught them up in close combat and bought us some time. Cowgirl, get in here. Need you behind cover, buddy. And you need to all get over there. Pepper Sill. What you doing? Fighting that legionnaire. And you now need rescue and you're on fire. But you're in water. You're in water, so it's not so bad. Whew. You two get over there. You get in there. You start going over that direction. You three. Focus fire on the lancers outside the shield. You attack that. Ooh, beautiful. This is not the worst. Oh, God. Yeah, but we still got that giant robot to deal with. That's okay. That's okay. We'll worry about the giant robot when the giant robot shows up. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a sh psychic shock lance so we can drop it if needs be. But, yeah, this is going to be tricky. You, get in there. You, get in there. You, get in there. Stalker, hide behind the wall really bravely. Uh, Paprasil, how you doing, buddy? You are... Eight conditions need tending. But... You're not going to bleed out. That is good. Okay. Uh, no one bites the dust. You two take out that lancer. You take out that thing. Oh. Damn it, there's also two lancers back there. Never mind. Never mind. We just got to make sure to do a bit of a dance. Oh. Scyther, get out of the way. Scyther can't get out of the way any longer. I think that Scyther's about to die. Ah, uh, problems. Okay. Charge. You can do a slightly smaller charge. Uh, you see if you can't kill that Legion thingy. And you are too badly wounded to do anything, so slowly crawl forward. Uh, you three. This way, action. Attack that if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, well, that was to be expected. What just happened? Exotic good trader has shown up. Well, la -dee da Colonist needs rescue. Yeah, we'll get around to that in a minute. Okay, doke. This is not going the best, considering we've already lost a colonist, but it's not going the worst either. Uh, okay, then. If that's where you want to aim, that's fine. We will leave that area. Oh my god. I love the way it de are two Oh no. Ah <sighs> But their bot survived. Their bot survived. The Thessalon that I've been trying to Okay, it's down. You. Um Come on, put them out, put them out, put them out. Oh excellent. Oh thank god. Okay, you three up there. You, start closing. Oh, you can't. You're outside a command range unit. Uh, can get closer to that thing, though. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. You three, get up there. Oh, there goes another... Stalker! Could you shimmy just a little bit to the left there? Death of Scyther 1. Okay. That was a little bit unfortunate, but sort of expected at this point. You three, target that thing. Uh, in fact, all of you target that thing. Right now. Okay, that leaves one annoyance left. And I think... Yeah, great. You're going to set the tunneler on fire. Tunnelers are immune to fire, buddy. Oh. That 
was horrifying. I really wish I could build a kill box. Uh, we're gonna have to get pepper seal and get them tended. We've got Ryan with bruise. Um, then we've got Damon with burn and Cowger with burn. Yeah, those getting set on fire is just too much of a problem right now. Uh, I thought putting everyone in, whatchamacallit, giving them Devil Strand and Devil Strand would make it so that they don't get set on fire, but they keep doing it. Yeah, we're going to have to invest into more fire foam or have someone come around with fire foam. It's the only way to stop that from happening because it's too crippling otherwise. Hmm. Oh, I really wanted this to be a short 30 minute episode. Uh, the body of Muppet is still here. I might be able to capture it, get it back. Uh, if we could stick that in the fridge, maybe we can resurrect them later. Uh, we've got a little bit of space right now. We Pepper Sill is currently dead, but we can rescue them. I think what really hurt us there, though, was, well, Lunk was in storage. Uh, another pawn, Lindsay, had just received an operation, so they were down, and Smokey was out in the field. So we were three people down right off the bat, and we lost a fourth person pretty much immediately. So we were down four people. That was too much. That's why this hurt so much. We need to get everyone back up on their feet. Lunk will be back up in 1.5 days, and... In about one day, Stalker will arrive over here and teleport back. So we'll have two people back. Like, give it another day and a half, and this would have been not nearly so painful. Uh, just Randy being Randy and me being an idiot. I should have held off on the operation on Lindsay until... I Never mind. Water under the bridge. We'll see who we can manage. But for now, I'm going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.